morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Cheebits. Today, I'm here to bring all of you the final review of Young Blackjack. So this is the finale. So I need to now go read the manga according to what so many Cheebits said in my last review. So I will be doing that when I actually get the time this holiday season because for right now I'm trying to actually read Kingdom and Food Wars and stuff, catch up to that. But Young Blackjack, the journey, I've enjoyed it. It's been very different from this season and it's definitely been something I've been very interested in every single week. I mean... You know an anime is good when you actually look forward to it and you want to see the next episode every week when it comes out. And that's exactly what this series is. And I'm kind of sad to finally see it end. It really is sad because I have enjoyed this series. Now, I love getting to see, you know, like a surgeon type anime. And even though there's some issues with the series I had, especially with, you know, certain things related to Hosma, it was still a wonderful ride I enjoyed from start to finish. Now, one thing I want to say is that this final episode, it kind of reveals what Path Hosma is going to do, which we kind of already knew, but it dives more into it, along with allowing us to see the first person that Hosma ever performed any type of surgery on. And that would be this girl that was introduced in this episode and died in this exact same episode. So, I want to be honest. That didn't really affect me in any way. Like, I wasn't really emotionally affected to the girl's death. I, I really wasn't, because, like I said many times before in other anime series I reviewed, if a character gets introduced in one episode, they try to get you attached to the character and dies in the same exact episode, I really can't grow that attached to a character. But, I have to say, I like the way it was done, though. I have to say, I like with finding out that this girl was the first person that Hosma ever performed surgery on, and how far he has come since the beginning. And, I, I love that. I, I love seeing how that was displayed in this episode, and I really have no issues with that whatsoever. But, in terms of the character death, it didn't really hit me emotionally. I wasn't really affected, so there might be some out there that are affected, but personally to me, I was not. But, Hosma going down the path he was, you know, leading, especially with how he says, I am now going to be called Blackjack, and awesome, awesome fucking title drop, like, fucking awesome, I love that fucking title drop at the end of the episode, oh my god, that was great. But, I have to say, Young Blackjack is a series that I definitely would probably watch again, yeah, if, if I knew everything I knew now, I would watch it, because, like I said, it was very fun. It was addicting, and I definitely could marathon this series. I mean, if I just discovered this series right now, and I knew it was going to be good, and, like, I knew these emotions I had now, yeah, I would definitely marathon this series and enjoy it. And I would recommend it to others. But, honestly, it's not the best, but it definitely was fun. And I think, at the end of the day, that's what we all want from an anime. An enjoyable ride. So, Young Blackjack. It got me interested enough to want to see the next series. Definitely see Blackjack, read the manga, and also try out the anime eventually, just to see how it is, because of just... I'm interested to see where Hosma's life is going to lead him. But that's about it. I mean, yeah. But we have anime starting to wrap up from this anime season. It's hard to believe that this year is almost over. Christmas is upon us. And, I mean, fall is pretty much done. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, how do you feel about Young Blackjack? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? I know this hasn't been one of the most popular series of all time. I, I really know that. But I, I want to know you your thoughts, Chief. It's in the comments below. Like, how do you feel about it? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? And one last thing is if I was to rate this series, I'd say, once again, another flat 7. Yeah, another flat just 7. Yeah, flat 7. So let me know your thoughts, y'all have a wonderful day, or night, wherever you live, please be safe, Chibi out.